Hey, let's talk about life. No, not philosophically, the TV show life. Hey, hello, and how are you? Welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where I talk about movies, TV shows, and music. A lot of the older stuff, especially, uh, bring back some of that nostalgia or introduce something to you that you may have heard of but never tried or never heard of before and want to give it a try. Today, we are talking about the TV show Life. Life is a cop show, but it isn't your prototypical cop show. It about a detective who has a lot of quirks and a more interesting backstory than most. Listen in and check it out as I go over Life. Now, Life is an American TV series. It's kind of a crime drama. And this show came out in 2007 and ran until 2009. It was two seasons. It aired on NBC and was produced by Universal Media Studios. The show starred Damien Lewis, Sarah Shahai, Brent Sexton, Donal Logue, and Adam Arkin. Of those two seasons, it ran 32 episodes, and the runtime for each episode was between 45 and 48 minutes, making up the hour block with commercial breaks. The first show was on September 26th of 2007, and the final show was April 8th of 2009. Now, in the series, Damien Lewis stars as Charlie Cruz. He's a detective who's released from prison after serving 12 years for a crime that he did not commit. Now, life centers around Detective Charlie Cruz, who, at the start of the first season, is released from Pelican Bay State Prison after serving 12 years of a life sentence. He was wrongfully convicted of the triple murder of his friend and business partner, Tom Seabolt, and all but one of Seabolt's immediate family. Thanks to the efforts of his lawyer and DNA evidence, he was exonerated for the murders. Having lost his job, his wife, his friends, and nearly all contact with the outside world, and even his grip on reality for a time while in jail, he emerges enlightened by the philosophy of Zen and a fixation with fresh fruit. He also has an obsession with solving the murders that nearly cost him his life and exposing the conspiracy that framed him for it. After successfully suing the city of Los Angeles and the LAPD, he's reinstated back into the police department and receives an undisclosed amount of money rumored to be around 50 million. Cruz is partnered with Detective Danny Reese, previously an undercover narcotics agent and now a recovering drug addict and alcoholic herself. Now, Cruz is not well received by Lieutenant Karen Davis, who during the season tries to force Reese into offering information that will see Cruz suspended and eventually fired. Even though she herself is uncomfortable with her new partner, Reese backs Cruz up on numerous occasions and the two slowly develop a bond. The overarching story of the first season concerns the murders for which Charlie was wrongfully imprisoned for which leads to him to confront various figures from his past, such as his former patrol partner, his remarried ex-wife, and the detective who solved the triple murder case and is still convinced of Cruz's guilt. Near the end of the season, Cruz manages to uncover information that implicates Reese's father, also a retired cop, and Lieutenant Davis's former partner. In the finale, Cruz is able to bring the true killer, Kyle Hollis, to justice but he remains unaware of the reasons behind his having been framed. In the second season, the producers effectively relaunched the series with a new pilot episode. The second season delved deeper into the conspiracy in the framing of Charlie Cruz, and more of Danny Reese's past would be revealed. Now, Ted Early, who's played by Arkin, is Cruz's housemate and financial advisor. Ted met Cruz in prison, having originally been a wealthy CEO of a powerful company who lost his job and was in prison for insider trading, something he now regrets. Cruz saved Ted's life in prison and Ted was there to support Cruz upon his release. 
Ted discovered Cruz's unauthorized and illegal investigation behind the conspiracy that led to his frame up and prevented a DA investigation from discovering it. Now in season two, Ted started teaching at a business school. Initially, the class has virtually no one attending, but Olivia, Ted's love interest, and Charlie's father's fiance, spreads rumors of Ted doing impressive crimes that causes the class to be filled to capacity. Now, both seasons of life are available on DVD. And one of the things I like about the show is the off play of both Reese and Cruz. She's very, I won't say cold, but no nonsense. And it's Charlie's Zen like sayings and the things that he does, which are very unorthodox that make him a memorable character. And too often in shows with police officers, the characters just aren't that memorable. Now scoring life, I would give it a three out of four. It's very entertaining. The only thing that I didn't like was the fact that we only got two seasons of it. This is one of those shows and one of these days I'm probably going to put out an episode about TV shows that were canceled, but shouldn't have been. Now, if you can't find the original DVDs for life, there are several platforms for which you can stream it on. Uh, NBC's platform for one, there's also YouTube TV, Google Play Movies and TV, Apple TV, Vudu, and Amazon Prime Video. Most of those are one or two dollars per episode to watch, but if you go to the NBC site, it is absolutely free. In closing, I would say definitely give it a try. And if you're familiar with the medical drama House MD, think of Charlie Cruz as House with a badge. Like I said, very quirky, but very sure of himself and gets the job done. So yeah, it's one of those shows that two seasons didn't really do it justice. I wish we had gotten three or four, one of those network blunders, but I am glad we got what we did. All right, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Still a small channel, but we are growing every day and I hope to keep on growing and I hope that you're with me every step of the way. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's beat that YouTube algorithm. I'll see you again soon for the next episode. Stay positive, stay blessed.